If you have a boat, please go save as many black people as you can, because the rescuers are, the rescuers are now rescuing them. There are, they are, they're passing up certain black people in black neighborhoods, and they're going to let them drown. They, they open, they open the levees on them, and they're passing up certain black people in, in in neighborhoods and purposely not rescuing them so if you have a boat go rescue as many black people as you can because y'all know the government does not care about black people they, they're just going to let them drown and we can't have another hurricane katrina situation so um if you have a if you have a boat, go and save as many black people as you can. I just watched a video from my comrade, and she was talking about how there's boats in the neighborhood, but they're passing them up. They 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 they, they call in the rescuers, and the rescuers are hanging up on them and telling them to call Jesus to come save them and stuff like that. So black people, this this is the time where we have to care about each other because the government does not care about black people. We can't sit here and let this be another Katrina where there's a whole bunch of black people floating in the water. So please go save. Please go save as many black people as you can because they're going to let them drown. Oh, excuse me, y'all. The, re the rescuers are not rescuing them. And I'm wondering, where is these million-dollar pastors with, with these mega churches? Why haven't y'all rented no boats to go save these people? Y'all, it's going to be another casualty of a whole bunch of black people just drowning, just like with Katrina. So if you were in Houston or anywhere in the surrounding area, just please listen to these live videos of these people because they can't really reach anybody. And, and listen for them to get an address and go save them because the government going to let them all drown. Y'all black people, this is a time where we got to care about each other. I just feel sit down here with Jake, who's got his dog Bubba. Jake, who is homeless. Jake, you found yourself some shelter here. Why, why are you outside during this entire hurricane? Well, I chose not to go inside yesterday because the Salvation Army and uh, Russian Winds homeless shelter where they were accepting people were caught killing everybody that was in there. I'm sorry. You're right. Okay. All right. So clearly you're homeless and uh, there are some challenges that you face, sir. I'm just curious, what has it been like out here? And with that, give all praise and glory and honor to Yahweh, Baasham Yahweh Shai. Double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone and all the brothers pushing this word out, true sincerity and charity, and being a watchman to the 12 tribes of Israel, the Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, pushing this word out, true sincerity and charity, man, not selling out for the fame and the fortune, and not going off in a doctrine, man, but speaking the words of Yahweh, Basham Shai, which is the name of the Heavenly Father, and who the world even called Jesus. I want to give all praise and glory and honor to Yahweh, Bahasham Yahweh Shai. Double honor to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone and all the brothers pushing this word out, truth, sincerity, and charity, and those who listen and watch. But uh, basically, want to go into this topic about the current events that's going on in Houston. Of course, we know it was sanctioned by the Lord. You know, the most high control both sides, good and evil. He controlled everybody on earth. You know, but rather it was the Lord who brought these uh, uh, catastrophic events, or rather there was a so called white man and his harp technology. The Lord, you know, the Lord was behind it. But uh, basically, the so called white man is not to be trusted, nor you cannot lean on him in a time of trouble. The scriptures say who you're supposed to lean on in a time of trouble. Uh, uh, you, the scriptures tell you who you're supposed to call on. The scriptures tell you how you're supposed to conduct yourself if you want to be protected in that day. And then that day can be any time like this. That day could be any time where it's just uh, terrible things happen to you and your family. But by you not believing and trusting in how about Shema Shai, these things can happen. Now, if you call on Jesus and these other idols, you cannot be saved. None whatsoever. Now, you may have been saved, but it's ultimately up to the Lord. If he see fits, he wants to save you. He's going to wake up to the truth, receive his name, and call on his name after 
after you have uh, been saved, or rather it be uh, he just uh, preserve you for uh, de death and destruction, man. Because a lot of our people wake and a lot of our people cleave unto these idols, man. So a lot of these things happen to them. I basically want to go into the scripture because in Houston, a lot of our people is being abandoned. In Houston, a lot of our people is uh, suffering from what's just happened. But I'm going to pull out a few scriptures and Lord willing, I hope this is edifying. Right, so uh, even though the so-called white man that was homeless, he just exposed on live television that they in there killing people. So the news reporter tried to cover it up. This is scripture. This is uh, Sirach. This is a rock, chapter 12, verse 10. Never trust thy enemy, for like as his iron rusted, so is his wickedness. So don't never trust a so-called white man, his uh, fame account, Salvation Army, any Red Cross, Blue Shield, any uh, non-profit organization that seems to help. But when the, uh, the event that come, that they party in the cause, they try to come in and seem like the heroes or the solution. They try to push their evil agenda. And you got to be aware of these things, man. Scripture says, for we are not ignorant of Satan's devices, man. Hey, we got to put on the whole arm of the Lord. You how about your mouth shot, man? Faith, this word, and true sincerity and charity. And watch for these things, man. Because it might come to a city near you pretty soon, man, because it will. And, you know, there's going to be a time and a day like no other when all this stuff is going to be uh, going off uh, every day, man. Every day, man. The family, the word coming up. So you're not going to have the people warning and telling our people. But so-called white man is not going to help you blacks, Latinos, and Native Americans, so-called, man. You the chosen people of the Bible that the most I speak of. So we got to act and live accordingly, man. We got to call on our Father, our power, our Savior, truth, sincerity, and charity. And it's just like we Hebrew Israelites, he a Hebrew Israelite, man. He have a name that he requires to call him by. This, uh, let's jump, I'm going to jump down. And in verse 17, an enemy speaketh sweetly with his lips, but in his heart he imagined how to throw thee into a pit. And that's what the so-called white man doing. To all you people, man, even to his own people. This is what he doing, uh, this is what America philosophy is based around, man. Even though they seem like they're trying to help, they still think about how to throw you into a pit. Even though it seems good like it helped you, you're still getting over, man. So-called white man is not to be trusted. He's the wicked. He's the board of wicked. And the scriptures tell you that. He's Esau Edom, according to the scriptures, man. He will weep with his eyes, but if he find opportunity, he will not be satisfied with blood. If adversity come upon thee, thou shalt find him there first. And though he pretend to help thee, yet shall he undermine thee. Hey, so hey, the so-called white man is all to overthrow you, man. Hey, he, he gonna overthrow. He gonna he gonna try overthrow a lot of you people that don't believe in the how about Shem Al Shai. He gonna overthrow a lot of uh, Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. Cause why? Cause they don't trust in your how about Shem Al Shai. And the scriptures gonna tell you that, man. Cause you that's what you gotta trust in. That's how you gotta put your trust in. Not the so-called white man. This is Isaiah 30 and 1. Woe to the rebellious children, saith the Lord, that take counsel, but not of me, and, and that cover with their cover, but not of my spirit, that they may add sin unto sin. And that's what a lot of people are doing, man. They're covering with the covering of the so-called white man, which is the modern-day Egypt, which is the modern-day Pharaoh, which is Rome all over again, man, which is Babylon all over again, man. There is a thing called reincarnation, and these devils is back, man. Them rulers from uh, the ancient times is back, man. Them nations from the ancient times is back. Because the Lord, Yahweh, Basham El Shai is going to magnify his name and take this devil down, man. And set his people up, his chosen people for everlasting righteousness, man. We ain't got to go through this to worry about floods, earthquakes, death, pestilence, disease, famine, mourning, pain, sorrows. Because in the kingdom, man, we're going to be on top, man. We ain't going to never go off, man. It's Isaiah 30 and 1. Woe to them that go down to Egypt for help and stay on horses and trust in chariots because they are many and their horses because they are very strong but they look not unto the Holy One of Israel neither seek the Lord and he have a name man, a Hebrew correct name man, a proper translation and pronunciation not Yahweh not Jehovah not Jesus not Buddha not Allah because all these idols and all these false idols and uh, leaders that promote this wickedness is being confounded they doctrine and they movement is coming to naught. Look at Islam. Farrakhan just confessed. Look at the Christianity. Hey, they they didn't even helping their own people, man. Hey, but here it is. We got brothers in Houston that called on the name of Yahweh Shem Al Shai, rebuked the waters, and they stopped flooding, man. So how powerful and who should you be calling on, man? Not the so-called white man. 
Hey, because the most side control both sides. You got to understand that. And I'm bringing this last scripture out. But, the, hey, Amos 3 and 7. Tell you, shall not a trumpet be blown in the city? Basically, roughly paraphrasing. Hey, but, hey, the most side control both sides. And, Lord, when I'm going to get that scripture, I'm going to end it with that. There's Luke 21 and 25. And there shall be signs in the sun and in the moon and in the stars and upon the earth. The stress of nations with perplexity and with perplexity, the sea and the waves rowing. And when you look up that word per perplexity, it basically going to the fact that uh, having no having no way out, uh, basically uh, having no way out, being in doubt. Basically, uh, the the gym that the uh, people in Houston is in, Salaki. Basically, the gym that the people in Houston is in right now, because that's what they in. They uh, they, they in, they in a state where they don't have no resources, no help, you know, things like that. Well, you work up, look up the word perplexity. That's what it tell you. So a, a lot of Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans over there suffering without to be without resource, to be in straits, to be left wanting, to be embarrassed, to be in doubt, not to know which way to turn. And you turn to the so-called white man, hey, that's your downfall. Hey, turn to Yahweh Shem Al Shine, seek the Lord, man. Here it is, you got the prophets telling you, you got a GMS Great Millstone Camp out there that's preaching for free. They not like Joel Osteen, where they gonna charge you. They got a big mega church. Hey, we got something better than a mega church. We got the name of your house, Bashem Al Shai, because wherever you go, he keep you protected. He keep you fed. He keep you warm. He keep you full, man. <laughs> full of knowledge, with understanding, because scriptures say, wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of that time, and the fear of the Lord, the strength of this treasure. But you got to fear him, man. You got to stop being wicked, because a lot of our people would be wicked, man. They do wickedly. And you see that, man. So we got to understand and know why things happen. Hey, everything happened for a reason, but you understand the so-called white man. You can't trust them in the time of trouble. Can't. Amos 3 and 6. Shall a trumpet be blown in the city and the people not be afraid? Shall there be evil in the city and the Lord have not done it? Hey, so it, it was evil in Houston, just like it was evil. Hurricane Katrina. It's evil in uh, where there's uproars of people, where there's perplexities, where there's... Uh, uh, all manner of wickedness, evil, famine in Venezuela, Brazil, wherever you want to say that the Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, the saints of the 12 tribes of Israel dwell, which are scattered amongst all the world. There, you know, you will have in the midst wickedness and people worshiping idols. And you got those who are going to seek and be returned and be saved by Yahweh Hashem Al Shai. But if there's evil going on in these countries, these cities, these different places of the world, hey, just know the Yahweh Hashem Al Shai sanction it. Just know the Yahweh Hashem Al Shai is behind it. Whether he do it by himself, his great almighty power, or whether he do it by man. Hey, the Lord control all things, man. You understand the time that we live in there, hey, hey the so-called white man is not our friend, man. He will abandon you. And with that, hope this last was edifying. I want to give all praise and glory and honor to Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai. Double honor to the elders and apostles of the great millstone. Shalom.